Hey guys, welcome back. So got a little review and swatches video for y'all on these new highlighters from Urban Decay. I just felt like they needed their own review video because they're pretty awesome. These are the Afterglow 8 Hour Powder Highlighters. So there are three. I have all three of them to show you. So I'm just going to run through, kind of read like about them to you guys. We'll talk about pricing, packaging. I'll show you some swatches and then I'll just give you my overall thoughts and impressions. So let's jump into it. So starting on the Sephora website, these are $26 a piece and you get 6.8 grams or 0.23 ounces of product. So you get quite a bit of product in here. And this is what it says about them. What it is, a super soft, long wearing, blendable powder highlighter for strobing. What it does, Afterglow 8 Hour Powder Highlighter is finely milled to perfection for a lightweight yet luxurious result with an ultra soft creamy texture. It goes on sheer and blends in easily so that you can apply just a little or a lot. The wearable formula applies seamlessly no matter how much you build and no matter how much you build it and it has shades that are suitable for any skin tone. It creates a radiant strobed effect that lasts all day and never leaves just a powdery dusting of shimmer. Infused with light diffusing pigments, it enhances and perfects the skin. So those are the claims, let's get to the colors. Okay, so first off we have Aura, and I forgot to mention the packaging, but this is what the outside packaging looks like. Just a beautiful, like, reflective, metallic-y, I don't even know, ombre pink, gorgeous situation. And then the actual product itself is beautiful. It's like this just kind of gunmetal metallic sort of a color. And then it's got like, there's no mirror, but it's got like the little sort of see-through situation. So you can kind of see the color through the top, but there is the product inside, just beautiful. So Aura is described as an iridescent light pink and it is. I'm wearing this on my cheekbones today. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It is absolutely beautiful. It's a light pink. I love it. It's like an icy, iridescent pink. It's incredible. This is the one that I got first and absolutely fell in love with it. Yes, I totally agree with the claims on it. These really do have a great texture where they're in between being too thick and sticky where they just stick to your skin and don't blend, but they're not too powdery where they, they're not powdery at all. So they don't blend away. They actually have pigmentation. They build on themselves so nicely. So formula, top notch. Absolutely love the formula and Aura is gorgeous. Next one is Sin and these do have the colors on the back which is a nice little added detail because it makes it easy to know what you're grabbing for and I don't know, it's just one of those little added details that I really do appreciate. So Sin is described as a champagne and this one I think is kind of like a play off their eyeshadow color Sin which is like a fan favorite. It's one of my absolute favorites too. And this one is so gorgeous. So, so gorgeous. This one feels a little bit more, I don't know, on the gritty side than Aura, but I wouldn't say it is gritty. It's just not quite as buttery feeling, but it's still, I mean, it performs so perfectly. Absolutely perfectly. Now that's really built up, but you can apply these more lightly. But they're not super subtle highlights. I mean, even applied lightly, they still pack a pretty good punch, but I mean a really good punch, but they're absolutely beautiful. This one is gorgeous too. And lastly is Fireball, and this one is described as a peach with pink shift. And this is the one that I was originally not going to get because I didn't think I would be able to make it work for my skin tone. And it's probably not the ideal choice for my skin tone, but I still really love it because it's very unique and it's just a beautiful, kind of like funky sort of a color. It's right there. So this one, oh my goodness, it's really cool. I mean, it really is a peach with pink shift, but it almost has like, I don't know, like a purpley shift to it. Oh, you, I think you can see it there. Like a purpley shift. Absolutely gorgeous. 
just a really funky, fun, unique sort of a color. So I use this one kind of as a blush topper and it's really beautiful that way. It's just a cool, funky, unique highlighter color. So you can probably tell from the whole video, but I absolutely love these highlighters. I think that they perform beautifully. They wear really well throughout the day. They blend on the skin nicely. I don't find them all over my face at the end of the day. They actually stay where they're supposed to be. I love the color selection. I love the packaging. I think they're just awesome. And they are some of my absolute favorite highlighters in my collection now. So I would highly, highly recommend them. All right, guys, so that wraps up my little review on the new Urban Decay highlighters. So I hope that you really enjoyed this video and I hope it was helpful for you. Please give it a thumbs up if it was and let me know down below if you've tried these, what you think about them. If you have, which one is your favorite color of the three? I love hearing your thoughts and opinions. Ask me any questions that you have. I'm happy to answer those. Please subscribe to my channel if you're not already and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.